All right, let's take a look at these here. I will um, try to get with the right color here just so we've got kind of a matching point. Let's start with the first one here. Again, I need to start by putting a one underneath this because I just have a whole number and I don't have any y-intercept. Without a y-intercept, that means we're starting at zero. Negative, so I know it's going to be looking like that. Uh, so I need to go up six and then the, right, the direction I need so the line looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one. One, two, three, four, five, it barely fits on there right there, six. One, and we can reverse the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. So that should be enough to um, get our point across for what we need. I will get our purple line through here, and anything on this line will fit that equation just fine. So there's a line. That should be the first one. Second one. Second one is positive, so we know the line's going to be going this way. Uh, we're going to start at plus 1, and then I need to go up 1, and then it's going to end up being right 2 because we need our line to look like this. So up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. We can reverse that pattern, down 1, right 2, down 1, right 2. That's probably all we need there. So we will draw our line through it. And there is our next one. Okay. Let's go to the, the red one there. Here's our y-intercept. Starts at negative 2. Let's start there. Um, and then let's go with our 4, which is going to be 4 over 1. That is a positive slope, so it needs to go in that direction. And that's going to be a 4 and right 1 to make it look like that. 1, 2, 3, 4 right one. One, two, three, four, right one. Uh, and then we can also do the opposite. One, two, three, four, left one. One, two, three, four, left one. So now we'll get that line on there and then that will be that next one. That looks pretty good. Now we have the orange one. And the orange one was the one where I kind of gave you a hint as far as what it needed to look like. But I just basically told you that if it doesn't have anything in front of it, put that one in front of it. So I need to also put a one underneath it because it's a whole number. So there's our slope. Y-intercept is plus 5, which is right here. Now I have it being negative, so I know it's going to look like that, going in that direction. And I have 1 and 1. So basically it's just going to be the up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1. And we're going to go this way because remember we want it to look like this. Up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. So it's just going to follow that pattern right there. And again, we could go the other direction with it, down one over one. And then we'll draw our line through it. Um, just one quick thing before we stop here. Uh, just one observation to make here. If you look, if you notice right here, See where these two cross right here? We're going to talk about, eventually, um, systems and points that will work for two different lines. And if you notice right here, if you look at the purple graph and you look at the orange one, the point negative 1, positive 6 actually works for both of these. So we would say that that point right there is a solution for both of those graphs. That's just something to keep in mind as we go down the road here. If you still have problems with any of this graphing stuff, please make sure that you let me know.